What's good, everybody? The voice of the WGC back in the building. Are we really doing this again? Already. I guess so. Whoop WGC. Buckle up. Grab your popcorn. Get whatever snacks you need. Get the beverage of your choice. Because it's about to get real. I don't even like doing this. You see, I try to stray away from beef. I'm a chill, laid-back individual. But when you trying to come at me sideways, especially when your whole entire page is built off of fabrication, <laughs> you're going to get dealt with. You see, you making bully a lot of other individuals. I mean, you making step on a lot of other individuals. But unsanctioned TV is not one of them. We don't tolerate that shit over here. This is not the channel to fuck with. But since you want to go there, let's go there, shall we? Let's get into this content. So, I told you about this dude in the other video. He's one of these leakers. Well, let me put that in quotations. Leakers who swore they have the inside scoop. It's currently, it's currently October. It's currently October. And this dude swears up and down. That he knows everything about 2K24 already. 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 Who's your source, buddy? Who's giving you all this info? Nobody else is talking about it. It's just you. So, I went ahead, and I called him out on his bullshit. His post is, you know, his, us his usual meltdown post. He does this every single time. He gets one comment of somebody calling him out, and then he goes on a mini rant like, Oh my goodness, I don't know why I'm receiving this hate. I don't know why I'm getting this. I don't know why I'm getting this. Motherfucker, you brought this upon yourself. Every single day, you go out of your way to post more and more and more and more and more about an upcoming video game and act like you have the sauce, act like you have the scoop when you really don't. So what this does, because some people are actually gullible out there and believe what this dude is saying, which is crazy. But what this does is this causes a chain reaction. If you start the rumor mill and somebody likes and retweets it and has a crazy reaction like, oh, wow, I can't believe it. I'm so excited. What do you think happens? It goes to the next person. It goes to the next person. It goes to the next person. It goes to the next person and so on and so forth. So now what you've done is you've gotten a bunch of people behind you to believe what you're saying about the upcoming WWE video game. So when the game eventually releases and the majority of these things that you said months ago end up being false, what are you talking about? You have haters for no reason. You brought this upon yourself, buddy. This isn't no mystery. We don't need Scooby-Doo in the Mystery Inc. to solve this shit. You brought this upon yourself. He's even trying to do GTA 6 shit, too. What do you know about Grand Theft Auto 6, buddy? Who are you tapped in with? I want GTA 6 to come out, too. Believe me. But to act like you know exactly when we're getting information from Rockstar and Take-Two? You're delusional, my guy. Do you know how much money, how much revenue Rockstar and Take-Two Interactive make off of shark cards? Not yearly, not just yearly, not just monthly, not just weekly, but daily. Do you know how much revenue they make? Do you know how much money they make off of shark cards? GTA 6 is the last thing on their mind right now. It's going to release eventually. But buddy, you don't know anything about the game. <laughs> C. 
so I caught him out on his bullshit. I said, legit information for an upcoming video game doesn't get someone hate, my guy. But when you come on here every year with Vince information, delete all the tweets and never take accountability, but instead choose to blame your imaginary inside source, what do you expect, my guy? Because this is what he does. When he's wrong, he goes on a mass deletion spree and deletes all the tweets, or a good, a good chunk of them. And then he says, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. My source wasn't pinpoint accurate this time. He gave me wrong information. I'll do better next time. I'll get a better source. Oh, there was a change of plans in 2K. I'm sorry. What are, what are you talking about? Like, what the fuck are you on? Look at this. What did I just say? Delete all the tweets. What did he just do? This post was deleted by the post Arthur. He's already on a deletion spree. Because you know I was about to get on your ass. Trust me, you do not want this war, my guy. You don't. But let's continue. He responds with, It's guys like you who wish you had as much credibility. Don't take the single time to like or follow, but have so much to say about someone who works hard to do insider job that everyone across all game platforms do as well both gaming journalists and wrestling news reporters you guys don't know half of the shit we have to deal with and put up with you ungrateful motherfuckers so do us a favor and go cry a fucking river dude hashtag wwe we don't ask you guys to believe a single fucking report we put out um i don't know why you're trying to place yourself in this bubble of being a reporter because you're nowhere near that level. Granted, Mike Straw could be wrong at times, but he doesn't say every single time that this is 100% what's about to happen. And Mike Straw is credible as fuck. Whether it comes to UFC whether it comes to WWE, whether whether it comes to Madden, I trust Mike Straw. When I when I want some information, I'm going to Mike Straw. When I want some information, I'm going to motherfucking Mike Straw. I'm going to Mike Straw. I'm going to Assemble. I'm going to Smack Talks. I'm going to Vibe. I'm going to people who are actually affiliated with 2K. Or know people inside that space. I'm not waking up out of my bed and being like, oh, 2K24 is on the way. Let me see what Antonio has to say. Motherfucker, you are one of the least credible sources out here. Like, come on now. What, are, what the fuck are you on about, bruv? So then, I respond with this. Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not about to back down from this goofy-ass motherfucker. So I say, writing misinformation about WWE games every year for clout? Nah, I'm good. I don't aspire to be anything like you, son. I'm comfortable with my own skin. Stop labeling yourself as a leaker or insider. You are a consumer who is just masking speculation as legit information. Because, let's be real, that's all you're doing. You're making guesses... And seeing if they're going to come true. Or you're observing. And you're like okay we might get this. We might get this. We might get this. That's all speculation bro. That has nothing to do with being. A credible leaker. Or having an inside source. Nothing to do with that. What What is there to be jealous about? Please tell me. There's plenty of people I know. Who are more subscribers than me. But I'm not jealous of them. At all. I want everybody to get a bag. I want everybody to eat. What the fuck is there to be jealous about? I'm simply calling you out on your bullshit. But people like you, who think they're top shit, who think they're on top of the world, when literally they're conceited as fuck, and their ego is getting the way is getting in the way of them thriving. You don't even know what you're talking about at the time. 
You see, what you're doing is you're trying to build your name off of speculation. You see, what I'm doing here at Unsanctioned TV is I'm trying to look for new wrestling games. Whoever's trying to make a wrestling game, I'm putting the word out there. Hey, this wrestling game. Hey, this wrestling game. Hey, this wrestling game. Whenever we have news on WWE 2K, AW, whatever game, I'm getting that news out there. Hey, Pat, hey, there's a patch here. There's this here. There's this here. I'm giving my input on how to make games better. I'm doing gameplay videos. I'm getting the word out there. Like my tweet about AEW Five Forever when I wasn't satisfied and I got that tweet out there and Kenny Omega responded. I'm trying to help the WGC. I'm not over here like, oh, my sources say, my sources say, my sources say. That's literally your entire page. That's your entire model. That's what you've built yourself on. Speculation and nothing more. You're literally just an average consumer full of speculation. I don't know why you're trying to paint yourself or portray yourself as somebody bigger than that. And that's the problem with you. See, social media is really the fucking devil sometimes. Don't get lost in the sauce, y'all. Don't let these numbers fool you. Please don't, y'all. That's why I hardly be on here, man. And like I said, I don't follow the dude. I don't follow him. But I keep seeing the same bullshit on my timeline over and over and over and over and over again. And I'm tired of it. I really am. But let's continue. So. <laughs> it appears that he got into it. With BDE a while back, you know, somebody who's actually affiliated with 2K. And although, you know, he may be a universe mode player and I may be an online, an online, an online player. He's still affiliated with 2K. He's still affiliated with 2K. I'm not. What's the point of having a back and forth with people who are affiliated with 2K and telling them they don't know what they're talking about? What's the point? What's, what's the point of that? So, I paused it right here because this is absolutely hilarious. Like, this dude is the definition of delusional. He's been caught slipping, dating all the way back to 2K19. Check this out. Now that everything is released, a big announcement, WWE 2K19, guys, I never had a source. I was my own source who put up information gathered by sources. So I'm happy we legit got everything I confirmed and predicted. I may have been wrong about a few, but my God, I am the GOAT. So basically, here you are contradicting yourself back in 2K19 and admitting that you're full of shit. Admitting that you're just speculating. You're jumping in and out of this shtick. Like, are you an insider? Are you a you know average consumer with speculation? Are you a top dog? Are you the goat? What are you? You don't even know what you are half the time. <laughs> Who the fuck is booking this shit? Vince McMahon? <laughs> like, come on, bro. This is crazy. And then let's continue. This is by Fatal7. <laughs> so, this was something he posted for the Diva Lovers because, you know, the Diva Lovers have been getting disrespected for so long. WWE, there is there's so many women wrestlers that WWE can put in the game. But they simply haven't. So, Let's look at this list. We got Michelle McCool. We got Lita. We got Trish Stratus. We got Tori Wilson. We got the Bella Twins. I believe we got Kelly Kelly. We got Paige, a.k.a. Soraya. We got Maris, and we got Beth Phoenix. 
So he claims that every one of these wrestlers are going to be in the game. He claims every single one of these women wrestlers are going to be in the game. Including some that we haven't seen in a while, like Tori Wilson, Michelle McCool, and Kelly Kelly. You know, three names that a lot of people have been asking for. So, let's go ahead and have a little look on one of my favorite sites. Shout out to SmackDown Hotel. The best database for wrestling games. Let's go ahead and have a look. Is Michelle McCool in WWE 2K23? Let's have a look. Oh! Her last video game was WWE 12, so you were wrong about that. Hmm. Let's see. Was Tori Wilson in WWE 2K23? Eh, wrong again. Her last game was SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Oh, man. Let's check on Kelly Kelly, shall we? You know, like I said, three names that everybody wants back in the game. Let's check on Kelly Kelly. Come on. You know, Kelly Kelly has got to be in the game because he said so. You know, he's never, the bunny is never wrong. <laughs> Let's continue. Was Kelly Kelly in WWE 2K23? <clears throat> Her last game was WWE 13. Damn. But I thought, but I thought that you were the leaker. I thought you were the GOAT. I thought you were that guy. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Let's go ahead and look and see if this tweet is still up on Twitter. <laughs> oh. You got caught red-handed, buddy. <laughs> Look at what he says. Look at the mystique. Ooh, so suspenseful. Per inside source, WWE 2K23. For the Diva stands, remember this tweet. I think you guys are going to be very happy this year. And yes, there is returning names. Oh my goodness, this dude is so fucking cringe, man. So you're rocking and you're rolling right now. You're killing it, ain't you? <laughs> lie after lie after lie. You're killing it, man. Give it up, man. This is this is a real insider right here, y'all. <laughs> so let's continue. It, it doesn't stop right there. It doesn't stop right there. Let's continue. He got into it. With Cornell. Somebody who's actually affiliated with 2K. Imagine arguing with somebody affiliated with 2K and trying to tell them who the fuck is on the roster and who isn't on the roster. Imagine. Let me repeat that, WGC. Imagine arguing with, with someone who's actually affiliated with 2K visual concepts, you know, the people who make the goddamn WWE games. Imagine arguing with that individual and acting like you know who is on the roster and who isn't when they're literally there playing the game before you. They're actually there playing the game while you're sitting there speculating. Let me repeat that. They're actually playing the game. You are there in front of your monitor speculating. So, let's continue. He's in the game. Never said he was DLC. Cornell responds, So neither him nor Nikki, Nikki Cross was confirmed on the initial roster reveal or the DLC, but they're in the game. And if you don't know who they're referring to, they're talking about um, Tommaso Ciampa and Nikki Cross being on the 2K19 roster. Because the bunny knows it all. The bunny's number one. The bunny can never be wrong. But let's continue. You're a dumbass if you think they're not in. Please be patient. They're in the game. 
And then Cornell responds, laugh my ass off. Keep on being 90% right, dude. And I mean, hey, like I said, you know, I don't agree 100% with a lot of these 2K folks. We agree and disagree on some things. But when it comes to things like this, come on now. I'm on the 2K folks side. I'm not about to sit here and argue with you and be like, no, they're not on the roster. They're in the roster. They're not on the roster, bro. They're playing the game, literally. You're not. Like, what are you even talking about, bro? So he argued with Cornell. And let's see the results, WGC. Do you think that Nikki Cross and Tommaso Ciampa made it to WWE 2K19? Whether it was DLC or whether it was the initial roster, the base, with no DLC. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, it appears that Nikki Cross did not make it to 2K19, but she did indeed make it to 2K20. But I thought I was jealous. I thought that I was Hayden. I thought that you were a credible leaker. I thought you were the GOAT. What happened, buddy? But I thought the 2K individuals were wrong. I thought you knew everything. Damn. It appears that Nikki Cross was not in 2K19. <clears throat> let's continue. Let's see. Let's see. Surely, although Nikki Cross didn't make it, surely Tomasa, surely Tomasa made it to 2K19, right? Surely Tomasa made it to 2K19, right? Oh, damn. Tommaso didn't make it to 2K19 either, but he made it to 2K20. Ain't that some shit? You on a roll right now, man. You are dropping bangers right now, man. You are killing it with these predictions. Man, your insider. Your insider is killing it, man. When it's probably just you on a fucking burner. Your insider is killing it, man. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot. But it doesn't stop here. It doesn't stop here. Literally, his lies are a mile long. Let's continue. So, he says that the 2K23 cover wrestlers, the cover athletes, they got leaked. Ooh, you see the rabbit? You see the blood emoji? It's getting spooky. Watch out, WGC. <laughs> so, Bianca and Cody are going to be on the WWE 2K23 Standard Edition. There's a Bray Wyatt Feed Your Head Edition for The Fiend. And last but not least, there's going to be a special Bloodline Edition. Man, these sound like some great additions. I'm so hyped for 2K23. Let's see if they made it to the cover. Let's see who the actual cover athlete is for WWE 2K23. Let's see, shall we? Do you think he was correct? Let's let's go let's go over the predictions one more time. One more time. Let's go over the predictions. Let's go over the information one more time from the inside source, y'all. It's got to be right. It's got to be right, man. It's got to. It came from the bunny, man. It's got to be right. Okay, so Bianca and Cody Standard Edition, Bray Wyatt Feed Your Head Edition, and Special Edition is going to be the Bloodline. All right, got it, got it, got it. We're locked in now. Got it, got it. Let's go. Let's see. Was he correct? Was he correct? <laughs> You're wrong again, my guy. Guess who was on the standard edition? John Cena. Oh, but surely, but surely, but surely he's right about the next edition, right? Guess who's on the deluxe edition? John Cena. Oh, but surely, but surely, but surely he's right. He's got to be right on the next edition. He's got to. He's got to. Damn. The Icon Edition is Cena too? Damn. You are killing it, man. 
But wait, wait, wait. I heard there was one more edition coming to 2K. This might be the Bloodline edition. This might be the Bloodline edition. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up a minute. Damn, you wrong again. It was the Bad Bunny edition. <laughs> oh my goodness, yo. This dude is on a roll. He's like Shaq at the free throw line. Straight buckets, man. He can't miss. <laughs> oh my goodness, bruh. Let's go ahead and take a look at the profile. Mr. Know-It-All, let's go ahead and have a look at the profile. I have some very good WWE 2K24 info to give out very soon. I'm just awaiting on my sources. Hashtag confirmation. So be patient, guys. And he has this, I got you, Jif. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then he puts up a poll up because he's insecure as fuck. He says, has the bunny given you the truth? 36% say, I'm miffy. 64% say, hell yeah, I believe you. I, most likely these are kids and they're gullible and they don't, you know, they don't, they don't know any better. But as more time goes on, more people will realize that you're just a piece of shit. And that most of your information is false. And now, oh, get this. He's on his GTA wave too. He's got all the news. He's got all the scoops, guys. Just whatever video game you want news on, just let him know. He got you, man. Whether it's WWE 2K. Whether it's Red Theft Auto 6. Hey, you want some information on whether we're getting a new Half-Life? <laughs> He's got the info, man. He's got it all. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then you could just look him up like, bro, when I say that the lies are a mile long, like, bro, everybody has been calling him out on his bullshit. Look at this. Liar, 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 liar. It's all over, all over. Like, bro. Everywhere you look, everywhere you look, and everywhere he's a liar, a liar. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. But I've just about said everything I wanted to say. I'm going to just say one last thing. And I didn't want to have to go here, but did you want to sit here and act like you're the top dog, act like you're the top shit? Act like somebody you're not. You want to go over here and go on a blocking spree when somebody's trying to enlighten you and tell you the truth. You know, just telling you, hey, take it easy. Just, you know, stop spreading misinformation. Hey, you should go about it this way. You should go about it this way. Hmm. Last but not least, guess what else is floating around? So word in the street is not only... Do you give out false information? But you're also a P-E-D-O. And you were sending nude pictures in a group chat full of minors. Now, I'm not going to post that. I'm not going to put that on my screen because I don't want to get this channel terminated. But... If you want to, go ahead and have a look at go ahead and have a look yourself. Look up his username and type in P-E-D-O and see what pops up. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe that's why you're so angry. Maybe that's why you're trying to blow off so much steam and cancel out everybody. Maybe that's why. Maybe you should spend less time trying to act like somebody you're not and spend more time trying to be a better fucking WWE 2K 
journalist. Take notes. Because what you're doing, you're not doing anything special, buddy. I can easily, if I if I really honestly want to, it's not hard. I can easily, right now, if I really want to, I can log into the unsanctioned account and I can say, breaking news. There's four returning legends that are coming to WWE 2K24. Breaking news. We are getting one beloved match type back. I think you're all going to be excited. Breaking news. The bloodline will be featured on WWE 2K24. It's like, come on now. What are you doing that nobody else can do? And let alone what you're also doing is you're basically just grabbing information from one source and you're literally just tweeting it out yourself, just twisting up the words a little bit. And you're hardly even giving credit to these individuals. Like if Mike Straw posts something, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to discuss it. But I'm going to say this, this information came from Mike Straw. I'm not going to say an inside source. One of my sources. It came from Mike Straw. What are you trying to be so fucking cryptic about? So cryptic and spooky about? Like, I don't understand you, bro. All these fucking hippie ass emojis trying to be all cryptic and shit. Like, what are you doing, bro? Somebody give this motherfucker a contract right now. He's perfect for WWE. Perfect. He'll fit right in. Your shtick would be... <laughs> your gimmick would be... I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. But you're definitely taking this WWE persona to another level, man. You definitely are. And it needs to come to an end. I don't know what you got going on over there. I don't know. Who do you think you are? I don't know who you think you're fooling, but shit's not going to fly on this side. I'll tell you that. In WGC, let me ask you a question. Is this who you want? Leading the community? Leading the charge? Is this who you want? Is this who you want? Somebody that you can't rely on? Somebody that whenever they give out information, you're having to be 50-50 about it? You don't know whether it's true or false? And then when that time comes, you have to deal with a long ass essay, a bunch of excuses on why that shit was wrong. Is this who you want leading the WGC? Hmm? Or do you want somebody credible, like a symbol, like Mike Straw, like Vibe, like Smack Talks, or anybody else affiliated with 2K who actually has the motherfucking information? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You can post about upcoming news all you want, but when you are literally the only user on Twitter constantly posting about WWE 2K24, when you have no facts, no evidence to back that so-called truth of yours, you're full of shit. There's no next makers or anybody saying half the shit that you're saying right now, buddy. It's just you. You're on an island literally by yourself. But with that being said, it's on Station TV. And we out here. One love. Wait, wait. Before I go, I want to tell y'all this. Don't get so caught up in this in this social media shit. And don't get so caught up in numbers. Make sure that you always stay true to yourself. Okay? Always be yourself every day that goes by. Whether you may get a little bit, you may be weird a little bit, you may post different type of content, whatever. But as long as you are being yourself, stay true to that. 
and you'll see the results. Don't sit here trying to build credibility or trying to build an audience off of fabrication like he's doing. Do you want an audience full of loyal fans? People are saying, because I'm not going to lie, bro. That shit means a lot to me, man. A lot to me. I scroll into the comment section after an episode of the WGC, the WGC podcast. And I saw a comment. It said, unsanctioned TV is the GOAT. That shit means a lot to me, bro. And I know we may not have the fucking 50K, a million subs, whatever. But one thing I can fucking tell y'all is that this channel is authentic, 100% real. Ain't shit fabricated over here. When that 2K24 news rolls around, trust me, we'll be on it. But it's going to be news from credible sources. Not this motherfucker. So yeah, if you are an aspiring YouTube, an aspiring, an aspiring YouTuber, an aspiring creator... You want to, um, you know, get get your followers up on Twitter. Make sure, make sure that you are doing it the right way. Make sure that you are being yourself. Message. Hey, don't get lost in the sauce, y'all. Don't get lost in the sauce, y'all. Because them lies in due time can come back to hunt your ass. Message. But with that being said, it's Sunstation TV, and we out here. One love, God bless, see you in the next one. Peace.